in certain models, you will come across situations where the particular variable that you want to use doesn't adhere to any standard formula. And the best way that you can define it is using a set of data points. The, what InsightMaker provides is a, is a primitive called a converter. If you open a converter, you'll notice that it has a graph. This particular, by default, converter by default is, is based upon the time. This particular simulation starts at 1900 and goes to 2100. So here is a graph of three values for that time period. And you can go ahead and add additional points. Maybe this is, is uh, 1910 and the value is 37. 370,000, so I've added an additional data point. That's the, and you can then also delete data points by simply clicking here. The easier way is to simply click on the graph and define the data points where you want them to be for the particular time. And if you want to change it, you can simply click directly above it or below it and change the value of a given data point or if you want to remove a data point, you can hold down the shift key and click on the data point and it will go away. So that it's much easier to define a set of data points on the graph than actually using the inputting the individual values. There's also an option to import the data from a CVS text file. Now, the, as I said, this particular converter was based on the time of the simulation itself, there are times when the converter has to be based on the values of some other variable. If I create a variable and call it rand and actually make it a random number generator of a uniform distribution between 0 and 1, just as an example. And then I go ahead and create a link between that and the new converter. When I now look, it knows that this value across the bottom is based upon this variable rand as opposed to time. And I want this to be zero. It's zero. And at one, I want it to be one. And this one I can get rid of. Now notice that this graph has still got the default baseline. I, I think it, there's a, there's still a bug in the in this in software, so you need to go ahead and and apply it and then reopen it. And now it runs from zero to one. And then you can add additional values as appropriate, so that you now define the values of that particular variable when the value of rand has values between 0 and 1. Now the other alternative for this is that this what you're looking at here is an interpolated function so that that if the value of this variable is between here here and here it figures out what the value is based upon this curve. You can also tell it that the converter is not interpolated so that it simply keeps the same values and then you get a step graph so that any any value between here and here has the same value and then at this this input to this input it changes to, to this value. So it depends upon how you want the data to be presented in the simulation if it's if it should be interpolated, you can do it that way, or if it should be a, a step function, you can do it that way simply based upon telling it uh, how to set the alternatives over here. So um, converters used to input data when it doesn't conform to something sim simple like a sine function or co -fun cosine function or a random number if it's if you need a set of data points, you can input those into the simulation with a converter. In this particular model, the CO2 level history was input between 1900 and 2000 to have this set of variables. 
and for the emission history from 1900 to 2000 had this set of variables. For any value outside of the range, it will continue to use the value at the endpoints. So for if the simulation runs to 2100, it'll use the same value for 2000 out to 2100. And if there was a value of 1800 in the simulation, it will use the same value past the, the start point. So um, go ahead and take a look at the climate stabilization simulation model, which is attached to this segment as a as a resource and uh, hope you found this interesting i'll see you in the next segment bye